Hello out there to you Icelandic students on the internet. How's it going? I recently reached out to some people on a Facebook group asking about what were some of the hardest things to pronounce in Icelandic? What are some of the words or letters, characters that you struggle with pronouncing? And I got a lot of feedback from it and I just wanted to share some of it. Here is one. The hardest words for me to pronounce are the ones where there are lots of er, thop, ef together. Words like þver, skarvagarðar, holtagarðar, fjörður, gerði. I can say them slowly, but when I'm using them in a sentence, I often get tongue-tied. Here's another one. Two years of living here, that would be in Iceland, and ef after R still trips me up. Fjörður, Thorgerður, you name it. Really, anything that requires me to use the tip of my tongue delicately right after a rolled R. Another one is Ui. Ui. My American English mouth cannot get that one to come out right. Struggle to get at the double L, at right, as in sæk, jökull, etc. Struggle with up, A-F-N, up, eins og jafnvægi, na, etc. Also the double L. Double L followed by R. For example, allra. They're not hard by themselves, but together. And I'm not 100% sure either of the double L followed by T, as in allt. Allt, everything. L, at, definitely. I speak Spanish, too, so that makes it even harder. There are too many vari varieties of the double L in Icelandic. Okay. Erjóð, uh, R-J, erjóð, as in rjóma. I just can't seem to get my mouth around it. That's what she said. Okay. Uh, how about oi, as in brauð, brauð, bread? G in words like tuttu, 20, tuttu. Ég get ekki sagt það. G, exclamation point, G. G is the worst letter ever. I know the general pronunciation rules, but I keep making mistakes anyway. Okay, there's a lot of these. Um, I think that these comments are, you know, not strange at all. I think it just comes down to, you know, you need to practice. You need to practice and practice and practice and practice and practice. I used to practice. I used to... Um, Rehearse. Practice? What's the word? I used to play the trumpet, or I tried to play the trumpet, and I was terrible at it. Um, and I was always supposed to learn, I was supposed to practice, but I didn't really practice all that much, because I wasn't really into playing the trumpet. I wanted to play the drums, I always wanted to play the drums growing up. But uh, my mom was like, no, that's too much. How about a trumpet instead? And... Uh, being the hopelessly codependent uh, person that I am, I said, sure, I'll do the trumpet. All the while hating the trumpet. So, what does that story have to do with anything here? Um, I think if you're struggling to practice, it might be because you are maybe not all the way in love with the thing that you're practicing. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be, or that you should be. Um, not saying that you should be in love with practicing Icelandic, or that you shouldn't. Uh, just saying that your level of interest depends on your... Uh, what's the word? Um, your passion for the Icelandic. So if your passion is waning, then it might not be remarkable or surprising that your pronunciation is lacking. So, with that in mind, I 
would like to say that I understand and can totally put myself in your shoes that it's frustrating sometimes and maybe seems totally hopeless but you know it's still there you can still do it if you want to if the passion is there and if the passion is there then good keep practicing that's it for now plus plus